What's happening? Welcome back, guys. We are running through Bitter Black Isle. Just trying to pick up a few items before we use our lift stone to get the hell out of here because we basically can't defeat anything here. It's all They're all too strong for us. But we can venture a little bit farther. We've found some good items so far. We've got some good experience and some good gold. Let's see if we can scrounge anything else up None at this point. None of it matters now. None of it. Pray, leave me to sleep in peace. Yeah, I don't think we can go down there. I think that's the brine. <laughs> nice, my double jump works for that. Got a skeleton key. That's excellent. Uh oh. <laughs> Nothing. Oh man. What's wrong? We got some rock and roll music. This is crazy. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to kick these guys. I... Okay, we're doing some damage at least. These guys are unbelievable, dude. Let's open this guy and see what these chests are all about. Uh-oh. Oh my god, it was a trap. That's all it was, was a trap? No way. Are we just gonna get destroyed right here? Uh, maybe, because this guy looks burly as hell. Holy cow. Oh my god, dude. Uh, 
Okay, this one might be a mistake here. Let's see what's in the chest. Side hearing. Let's see if we can use this stone. First of all, let's unlock another one of these gates here. We'll go get those guys in a second. Bitter black item. Okay. Got a feral cape. Oh my god, we gotta go rescue those guys now. Oh my god. He came out of nowhere and just destroyed me. Um, okay guys, time to go. Oh, thank God we got out of there. So we got a few items. It's a core crystal. One can reach it from anywhere with the use of a. Not a huge hall. I shall restore your health. But very decent. My hope is that I may rediscover myself and recall my true purpose here. I shall aid your journey in any way I can, and pray that our goals both lie together. For now, my course is unchanged. I shall help as I am able, and pray that brings further clarity. This is bitter black gear. Perceptor ring has been purified, a ring that augments basic attributes. Ice resistance by 20, silence resistance by 51. Alright, whatever. For now, my course is unchanged. If there is aught I can do... Deposit some crap here. We'll make sure we keep ourselves nice and light. The Pharaoh Cape. That looks pretty cool, man. I'm going to check that out. Resistance to thunder, heightened resistance to silencing, resistance to blindness. Okay, cool. If there is aught I can do, say. Cool, if random. If there is aught I can do, say it. For now, my course is unchanged. I shall help if there is aught I can do. If there is aught I can do. For now, pray. Take care. Nice, dude. There we go. More money. 20,000 gold, 12,000 experience. So we got like 30 or 40,000 experience here, and we got like 40,000 gold. We'll take those. Okay, so we're gonna get out of here in just a second. Let's walk up here and see what's up here first. I thought there was a chest up here. No? That's so cool. You have to basically be the strider to get up here. Oh, no. Ow. <laughs> I'll heal your wounds. That double jump is so cool. Looks a rotten building. Let's 
just rest here until daytime. Best we rested here. Well, it's not daytime. Okay, let's travel on out of here. With our fairy stone. So let's go back to Grand Soren here and we'll continue the main story. We'll start the worm hunt quest. What meaning do you think this thing is I know it's a, a fairy stone will spare you back to Grand Soren in an instant, no matter where you are located. It is by far the fastest and safest method of travel. But each stone disappears after a single use. I'll take that. Well, good to know. <laughs> Let's go start doing the worm doing the worm rick press. Which is the next part of the main story. So we can figure out who this shrouded figure is in a cloak that keeps following us and see who this Elysian people keep talking about are. What? Forget it. I don't care how wealthy he is. I'll never, ever. Not a thousand years, eh? That is such a terrible feeling if somebody came to kick you off the land you lived just because they wanted to sell it. Not that you did anything wrong or you deserved it, but just, hey, I'm tired of owning this and I want to sell it. it. means you need to move. God, that sucked. Ah, Arisen. My men have told me much of you. I have expected your visit. I am Sir Maximilian Eisenster, captain of the hunt, so named by His Grace Duke Edmund Dragonsbane. I beg your forbearance whilst I detail what is expected of you in the hunt. The worm hunt license you carry permits the bearer to undertake the most vital of tasks. Those missions given by Duke Edmund himself. Of late, all our will is focused on learning of and defending against the wicked dragon. A weighty task, to be sure, but one which the fate of the realm and its people rests upon. I am under orders to lend Arisen all reasonable aid as they might require. I would pray you return this assistance in kind. Many hopes are pinned upon you, sir. <clears throat> it will be my honor to show you the ready charges for the worm hunt. Okay, cool. The choice is yours. Certainly. Then here are the details. I have important work for you, though some is of a less urgent nature. The task at hand is just such a case. As I was setting about to find work for you, I came upon this slate. I know not its origin, nor its age, but the writing it bears is old. So old, our men could only read a few words. Dragon, Scar, Arisen, Heart, what little we know, all points to you, sir. Best you should have Doesn't it. Doesn't it all? If there's aught of import written there, we need to know. Your task is to find out. Okay, let's inquire around town about the slate before we do any other missions here. On it. Man, we have a ton of quests. The cipher. This is the one. Let's ask around about this slate. Someone may know of its meaning. Important locations, people, or objects will bear a quest marker. It will be my honor to show you the ready charges for the worm. The choice is yours. Certainly. Then here. The words can't. If it tells of slaying the dragon, it will be. Come speak to me if you learn. Oh, doesn't have anything to say about it. Down there in the field by the pawn by the pawn quarters. Many of these are like to be homes of members of the Duke's court. Oh, that double jump is so cool. Except it doesn't stop your fall damage. It still recognizes the height you fall from, even if you jump a second time. What do I know of the old writings? Less than I know of modern script. 
And I never even learned me letters. Alas, I'm a man of the sword, not the quill. Ask a scrivener or a counterfeiter else. Smart. Smart, let's go visit the guy who forges stuff. I shall bestow your help. Hold on. So, you can... Whatever, I wasn't trying to talk to you. Cobert. <laughs> it's just so enjoyable just running and jumping all over the place in this game. No harm in asking more of the That's a dead sign. <laughs> Ah, oh, look at me. Aha, Prince of Persia. I'm all over everything. I feel the Strider could jump higher, too, than the actual fighter and mage can. Maybe I'm just crazy. You're the barber. We don't need to talk to you. The Venery. Place holds its share of shadows. We'll like find all manner of shops here. Hello. Ancient writings? Aye, that's simple enough. If you've the coin. What? Oh, you just want alt red? Let's have a look then. As I said, simple enough. That's dragon there, then scar, arisen. And heart there. The rest is no script, friend. Just flourish. This slate's no text. It's a cipher. Like as not, it holds some secret meaning to folk those words relate to. I'm not one of them. I fear that's all I can say, friend. I'm sure you'll find all you need. Boy there. Quite the pretty little item you have there, friend. Why not leave it with me a while? I'll craft you a forgery fit to fool the maker's own eye. Yeah, let's do a forgery of something here. And just see what happens. Let's do a forgery to ancient slate. I'll not beat round the bush. I'll have the goods ready by this time tomorrow. Wow. Call again then. I'm sure you'll find all you need. Not quite. Done. I'm sure you'll. I'm sure you'll. Anytime. Okay. I'm more familiar with this quest now. Someone must know something about this matter. Let's ask around. A scrivener at the right hand. Can duplicate objects in your position. I'll heal your wounds. What wounds? What wounds are you trying to heal? Precious things gone lost or missing have a way of turning up there. You guy's got an awesome voice. Can't get up there? Sure as hell can. Don't stop me from parkourin. <laughs> so if there's no people to ask up here on the rooftop, we actually need to just walk amongst the people to figure this out. Just want to see if there's any kind of treasure chest up here. And I can tell you guys right now, I'm just going to be double jumping all over the place in this one. We may be able to cross from roof to roof, or is it? Well, that's what I'm doing. Crossing roof to roof all the way to somewhere we need to go. This place is huge and we can go over all of them. It's so cool. And what kind of like serious RPG like really lets you do that? You know, it's truly open world, but has the platforming aspect like this with the combat and the monster fighting. I don't know. If they could just do a better story with Dragon's Dogma 2, I'd be so happy. Wouldn't have to improve much on the gameplay. Just tidy up a few things. Most of all, a great new story is what it needs. Oof, don't fall from there, you're dead. So is there a place we could jump down? Hello, you. Hello. Yes, Arisen. Boca Akasha, no. Have you equipment to enhance? 
Oh, hey, there's somebody we need to talk to. I shall restore you. I'll kill your wings. Dragon part and scar, is it? Hmm. Does it have aught to do with that drawing? The figure of hill figure Knoll? You know it, I. The man drawn upon the hill north of the capital. He bears a scar across the heart. Or the chest, at least. I've learned what to do in this quest. Nice. Okay. We don't deal. We're in honest business. Those Oi, there's an they're more like to have it than Take Yeah, we heard you already. Let's get some more mushrooms for the journey because we have to travel on foot all the way up to Hill Figure Knoll, which is far to the north, if I remember correctly. Potent greenwash. I want to have at least 50 of each. And let's see what they have for. Nice. That see, like I told you guys in the beginning, that 300,000 with the gold you find along the way, that 300,000 will keep you tidied up for a long, long time. Sir, Honorable, had he even a whit of the Maker's decency, he'd give fair warning afore such a request. Yeah, he would. I beg of you, sir. Grant me a little time to consider what you say. I would strive to have an answer for you shortly. Okay. Fine with that. I want to rush you. Yeah, that's pretty terrible. But honestly, peons, which is what they called those kind of people that weren't the upper class back then, were treated horribly. They were treated way worse than that. This is like them being nice. They would just go over there with a couple of guards and say, get out. If they said no, they'd just chop your head off, man. Okay, so we got to head north to Hillfager Knoll. It's our first adventure in the great wild, great wide open. <clears throat> so, this is going to get dangerous if it gets dark out. And it probably is going to get dark out because we're pretty far away. So, we got to be careful. Also, you need to stick to the beaten path. If you get off the beaten path, it gets a lot harder. All the monsters get stronger, the bandits get tougher, things get more dangerous. But we will do some exploring. I'm not adverse to that at all. We're battling along the way here. Get him! Shackles are nice because they make skeleton keys. Boom. Great the number. The brine have learned along the road. What if I hit that guy from over here? I'll do your wings. Oh, there he is. Oh, stuck him in the face and it didn't even matter. See, that moves so nice, it's like a hamstring, you know? Oh, hello. Stay down. What's with this little cabin here? Whoa, hello. Whoa. That was crazy. What was that? Oh man, these guys are tough. This guy's the guy we gotta get right here. Where are you? 
doors. Oh my god. This guy's just gonna whoop on me now. Oh god, it's weird having no shield. Where's the rest of my party at? That's just gonna get tougher and more difficult to deal with. Turn out your pockets and be quick about it. Oh my it. god, there's more of them. I shall be spoiled. Wow. This is worth 700. That's crazy. Oh, there's another one up there, too. Yeah. Boom. That's pretty cool. I blasted him right off that ledge. Oh, and there's more right here too. They're on, monster. Stop. Open those panels. Like I just blasted him in the face. <laughs> I've already used 10 of these things here. Strength in numbers, Arisen. We have triumphed. Holes like this one are crucial in boarding the capital for monsters. So this is the capital. Was up there. There's no match for our fury. There's all sorts of random treasure chests spread out these little ruins right outside of here. I don't remember anything specific that comes to mind as being like outstanding. Oh god. So we're just gonna move on. Just missed you. Um, oh, you got me, but I got you. Get it. To restore your health. Oh. Where did that guy go? Did I blast them both right off the ledge here? So they fell down. That's cool. I am the ninja. Some dragon spit. So I should probably start utilizing some of those consumable throwables, like dragon spit and whatever fire one the other one is. Because this character is basically the character that's supposed to be doing all that. She has a move specifically where she throws stuff up in the air and then, or knocks the guy up in the air and then throws a fire explosive up at him. One nice thing, you can kill these to get stamina. You get that scrag of the beast. So if you're out of like mushrooms and you're broke, you can sit here and farm stamina items for a little bit. In the Eston Plains. What are you doing, sir? Level seven. You're in trouble, buddy. These roads are not safe for a level seven. This must have been built 
ages ago. Sure looks like it, huh? So let's see where we're going here. Yeah, way up here. Hand over anything of worth you've got. Uh, okay, here. I'll give you my knives first. They go right there. Thank you for your help. Man, I can't tell if it's foggy or if it's starting to get dark. If it's starting to get dark, we're gonna be in trouble. We need to get on with this. Look over there. Is that some sort of structure? Over here? It's an encampment, it looks like. The old coin pouch. Seems it's been a while since anyone has pulled this place off. Pickled mushrooms. I'll give you a wing. Coin pouch, okay. Well, whatever. Any time. Two items. Two randos. I shall restore your health. Hold on. You do that. I'm gonna keep running. Okay. Not much out here in these woods, just a bunch of deer. There's a giant castle right there. Granus is a giant place. It's a giant open world. And like I said, one of the coolest aspects of it is you could run from one end to the other right now if you wanted to. You can be level one or level 50, it doesn't matter. Well, I think we're going to end the episode here, guys, and we continue because we still got a ways to go. We'll continue on to Hillfigure Knoll. We'll check in with this castle and see what this castle is. Huh. Anyways, appreciate you guys watching our Let's Play here on our channel, Game On, where we just love playing video games and we just want to keep playing no matter what. <laughs> so, like we always say, keep on gaming on. We'll see you in the next episode. Peace.